How's it going everyone? Octopus here and welcome to my Adamanti Ore Challenge series. I'm going to make every single Adamanti Ore Challenge as simple as possible. Mostly using just event medals or just giving you guys suggestions of what skills you would need and just all the basic, basic general knowledge I know that helped me get through all of them. So I'm going to start off on my free to play accounts which a lot of people do prefer. I usually do it on my main account because it has a lot more skills, chips, dales to spare, and I can do any setup you guys need. But I'm gonna do it on this one just because I actually am not, I'm not struggling as you guys can see. I completed all of them except for the third Mickey head and that's because you don't need that third Mickey head. You just wanna grab those adamantite ores. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did and things you could do. So let's start off with the first one any of these adamantite ore challenges you guys should be right away doing number one and number two without a problem as long as you guys have a buffer and a friend medal you're golden you can use three christmas swords you can use sebastian illustrated Kyrie, your arrow and flounder whatever you guys have hainers pence olette any metal that says raises strength of a metal by one tier two tiers three tiers uh uniform kari whatever your buffer is for the first two, make sure that your friend metal gets buffed. So an example right here, I'm going to use the Divine Rose. Another main thing about these Adamanti Ore Challenges, once you get your Adamanti Ores, don't use them on the Three Wishes, Treasure Trove, or Lady Luck. Uh, or the Starlight. Starlight actually don't touch on both accounts. I upgrade them later on once I have everything else. Now the main reason for that is that the multipliers on Divine Rose and the Lady Luck really go well with a lot of metals we already have. And not only that, as you can see, there's a 2.6 reverse speed slot on here. And on the Olympia, there's a 2.7 power slot upright. Now that is a huge, huge multiplier. The bigger the multiplier on a Keyblade, the more your metal actually hits. So the metal is calculated by if it's guilted, it guilts its multiplier. And then on this Keyblade, its strength is multiplied. So 2.70 will multiply the metal strength. So we're going to go into this with using Olympias and Olympia and the Divine Rose. I usually upgrade those two Keyblades first on both accounts. Not usually, I did. On both accounts, I upgraded my Olympia first and my Divine Rose. They were the ones that got me through all the other Adamantite Ore challenges. So that's where you want to focus your Adamantite Ores. <laughs> so let's go into the first one. I'm going to show you guys that you absolutely don't need nothing. And... Since we're doing the Lady Luck, we need speed versus magic. That's what you would think, right? No, you don't have to. As you guys can see, my magics, this is the best, best magic metal I have. It's not guilted, but it does have attack boost too, and it does have chips on it. Now, the whole point is to look for the metal with the highest multiplier. Now, whatever metal you have that has a really big multiplier, remember, if you guilt it, whatever that percentage is, you will multiply it by that. So if you have an 83%, you want to multiply it by 0.83 or 1.83 sorry it's 1.83 if you have it 100 percent, that's a 2.00 multiplication so let's say she was 100 percent guilted this would be 3.63 for the most and then you times it by two it will become the seven point uh what we got here 7.26 this multiplier would become a 7.26 multiplier and that's a huge jump but if your metal's not guilted, just multiply whatever one you see here. So 3.62 by nothing because it's not guilted. <laughs> so that's the multiplication is going to do when you activate it to go with your strength. So the more chips you have on a metal, the better. Now, the first two are very, very basic for Lady Luck. That was just general knowledge for all your Adamanti ores for your Keyblade setups. You guys want to go with whatever you have as a highest multiplier. Like Donald's highest multiplier is 3.49. That's probably going to be your highest magic depending when you're watching this video. So what we're going to do is go in here very simple. Let's actually just focus on someone that either has a Marlusha, Marlusha B for you, Max Guilted, or a Donald. Or any metal. Any metal that's magic or speed that's guilted, especially if your party has World of Final Fantasy medals, or if you have World of Final Fantasy medals, you guys can just go through the whole thing of this. But let's keep it simple by just going with something that's not even the same or the opposite of tribute. We're gonna use magic on magic here with just a buff. So we all know level one is very simple. You can just tap away, go at it. There's no need to go crazy with this. There's chests everywhere. That's the main thing about the first ones is that every 
Adamante or in the starting number one and number two and number three I think they all have chest laying around now here's what I'm saying that you don't need your own medals I'm just gonna tap with whatever medals I have and just activate my friend medal and activating your friend medal without a buff at this stage is risky as you guys can see but it's doable very very doable the higher your level your keyblade the more your friend metal will do you got to take that in consideration as well so you do want some kind of buff on there so right before the friend metal if you guys don't have illustrated car uniform uh, selfie ants in the wise use hainer pence or olet at the last slot right before your friend metal so at least your friend metal gets the boost because your friend metal most likely if you're new is what's going to help you out the most so here's another thing if you have a times three buff, let's say that was a uniform Kari at the end. So everything else here, we're just going to tap. So let's say where my Larxene B is, if that was a Hainer Pence uniform Kari, let's just go uniform Kari because it's times three. You would see each damage from the Donald would do 5,013. So 5,013 is more than enough to take out all these Adamanti or quests. So I'm not going to complete the whole thing because there's probably other mobs down there where they're all just a little bit. The whole point of this is activate times three strength and activate your friend metal or just try to boost your friend metal as much as possible. The more you can boost it, the better. So it doesn't matter what you guys use. This is for quest one, two, and possibly three on every setup of Adamanti or quest challenges. Now I'm going to skip the third Mickey head you guys saw there where it says equip the Lady Luck. Like I said, use the Vine Rose or use Olympia depending on which Adamanti or you're doing. And remember, you can use magic on magic that does lots of damage. So same thing for this quest. It was the same, same setup I used. It was just three Christmas Soras. I didn't have an aerial flounder at the time. I used three Christmas Soras. So if you have three VVs, three, whatever metal that says times three buff, don't put them together. Keep them separate if it's your only buffers and use three of them. So it would take me six SP to get a times three buff, but my friend metal did enough damage. So that's the same thing for part two. Part two is going to go exactly the same. Remember, the most important thing here is going in with a proper friend metal. Now, let's say, let me just sell this real quick. Let's say that the mission that you're going into, let's say part three is AOE. There's a bunch of enemies, not just single targets. Make sure to go in with the proper friend. Now, if you go in with the classic Donald and there's multiple enemies in each one and you have no AOE medals, you want to make sure you're picking up an AOE medal. So let that be World Final Fantasy Sephiroth or any of the World Final Fantasy medals. Um, let it be Marluxia B, something that is AOE, guilted, and very strong. Just grab that off your friends and go at it. But if the enemies are single in there, then you want to grab a friend that does single damage. So Meow Just D, um, Larxene B, anything that you guys see that are single damage, grab them and go on that mission. So grab the proper friend medal because friend medals are what's going to help you the most in the starting. So let's go into this real quick. Let's just grab a Donald. I can't remember what part three was. I think part three is supposed to be multiple groups because there's supposed to be two enemies here or probably that's just the only one. No, it's the one later on that has two enemies. Oh, okay. It does have multiple enemies. But the thing here is that your Moana Mano, Moana, Moana is more than enough to take this out. If you do three Christmas Soars, three VVs, whatever you get your times three buff, just make sure that your Moana is on a good slot. And if you're having issue with, let's say, APP, Attack Boost 2 and APP is actually really good on her, especially if you use her in a lot of your setups. So now that we got that out of the way, you can see how the main guy right there doesn't, has it has the most HP. So you want to use your Nova, activate Nova, and the whole thing here is that we're not going to be able to complete this because the two on the sides need AoE damage. So hopefully the swipe takes him out. The swipe does take him out. But what I'm trying to get to here is that you're not going to be able to use a friend metal with single target unless your metals are AoE and do enough damage. So what you want to do is instead is grab a, like a Marluxia B or very heavy hitting AoE metal. But since we're lucky enough that that did enough damage, you're going to see right now with times 3 buff and AV2, it is more than enough to take this guy out. Very, very simple setups, guys. Just make sure your friend metal is the right friend metal. And accommodate to it buff it with moana buff it, buff it with maui buff it with whatever buffs you guys have you want your firm metal to do the most most damage that's if your metals aren't good enough the main main thing in these high in these adamanti ore challenges is that you have the proper amount of buffs and you have some form of app you want to be able to restore your keyblade sp as much as you can so let's go into part four part four i believe it's more of a group area thing 
Um, we're going to do the same exact thing here. We're going to use the same Keyblade setup. But instead, we're going to bring in, uh, let's say, a Marluxia B. So a lot of groups, a lot of parties should have a Marluxia B or some sort of AoE metal that's fully gilted and chipped. So this area, we know that it's all groups of enemies. And this is how simple it's going to be. We're going to activate our times 3 buff. It doesn't matter how you guys do it. Just make sure you activate that times 3 buff. If you're running out of SP, just make sure that you have some sort of, some form of APP on your Keyblade. So even if you can't use the metal on a strong metal, just make sure a metal has APP on it. Just by swiping or tapping on the enemies, you're going to restore a lot of SP. And that's all you need is one metal with APP on it. So the whole point of this is I'm showing you that just activating your times 3 buffer and ignoring everything else and using your friend metal is more more than enough to pass these quests. You can probably even if you have a Marluxia B in your friend list that's this strong, fully guilted attack boost 2 max, you can get away with just using him alone. Let's just go with that theory right there. And if you had to make sure, use your Nova. My Nova is only level 15 and it does like a little bit of damage, but it's more than enough. And Marluxia does 27,000 with no buffs on Divine Rose as a friend medal. That means you can take away a whole HP bar and half. Every HP bar an enemy has is 20,000. So every little square you see underneath that HP bar or a plus sign and a number, for every one you see, that's 20,000 HP. So just keep that in mind. So here we go. This is the enemy. Here's an example. A full HP bar on the guy all the way to the right and two little square green dots underneath it. That means this guy has 60,000 HP. So we know Marluxia B only does 27,000. So obviously we have to buff. We need a buff for this. We need some sort of buff and extra damage. But like I said, a times three buff with your friend metal is more than enough guys, as you're gonna see right now. There we go, Marluxia B did 50,000 damage. That just means my swipes with my metals did more than enough that was needed for that. So that's part four of this Adamanta or challenge. And we're gonna go into part five now, which a lot of people might have trouble, but not really because everybody has a Larxene Bee, a Marluxia Bee, um, the Flower Meow. There's all sorts of AOE green metals you guys could use or single targets. But let's go into another theory. Let's say that no one in your party has any good reverse speed or upright speed medals and neither do you. What you want to do now is find your strongest magic medal, be that upright, be that reversed, whatever your strongest magic medal. In this case is my classic Donald boosted with chips and 100%. This was a vent medal. Whatever time you guys are watching this video, this medal was given out for free just for completing the quests and farming. It was ridiculous time hours, but it was done. So what we want to do is make sure we have our times three buffer. Let that be three Christmas sores in this slot or two Christmas sores, or one Christmas sores and a piglet or a poo. Just get your times three buff. If you can fit Moana in there, fit Moana, and then your upright magic metal. Now what you're gonna do, like I said, let's say there's no green metals here. There's no speed metals. Just grab your strongest single target friend metal because with last quest is single target and use that instead. Magic versus magic is more enough and sometimes you can even get away with power versus magic if your power metal is strong enough. So let's go into this. This is par 5 of Lady Luck. Like I said, you don't have to use Lady Luck itself. Focus on Divine Rose and Olympia. So we have two groups here. First group is by itself. It doesn't have another enemy, so this is very simple, very easy. We can get away with probably just, just using our buff, our single target attacker, and our friend one. As you can see, I'm not even activating my magic one. I'm just relying on my heavy hitter and my friend's heavy hitter with the times 3 buff. And there you go, that is that guy that taken down, no problem. So the second enemy in here is two of them. We have two possessors. So you wanna save your Nova here. Whatever Nova level you guys have, this is the best time to save it. Once you activate your times three buff, activate your Nova, cause that's when it has the most damage. Unless you have general defense down medals that can actually put their defense down, wait till you activate that as well to use your Nova. So now that we got that out of the way, we need some sort of AoE damage. So whatever AoE damage you have, Moana is probably the best ones right now for free to play players because she gives a times three attribute buff to magic. So she buffs herself. So not only do I have the times three buff from Ariel Flounder or your Sebastian or whatever way you did it, activate her and she's gonna do 24,000 damage on neutral damage. 
Now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, now what do you do? You have all single target attack medals. We have three really good single target attack medals. What we want to do is use yours because yours is on a very strong, strong slot. As you can see, my Donald is 18,614 damage right under the pitcher. And my friend medal does 14,607. So on the lowest HP one, you'd probably want to save your friend medals for that. So what we're going to do is on the main guy, we're going to activate R1, R medal to take him out. And it should be more than enough, like you guys saw. And then rely on your last two medals. Which in this case, my Larkson B is, she's more than enough. But your friend medal, if it's strong enough and the attack boost, whatever one it has on it activates, you can take these guys out. Another option is Moana with another AoE medal instead of Classic Donald or whatever you guys have. And then a friend Marluxia B or another AoE medal. So you guys can use pure AoE medals, but like I said, I'm giving you guys all the options, all the choices. But that's all parts of the Lady Luck Adamanti Ore Challenge. I'm going to continue the series like this. I'm going to do Adamanti Ore. And then once we got our Keyblades, all at plus 25, we're going to take down the Moogle of Glory quest. We're going to go through the Moogle Glory quest as much as possible. But we got to make sure that our Divine Rose is strong enough and our Olympia is strong enough. So we need level 25 Olympia and level 25 Divine Rose. The reason for that is that your Divine Rose and your Olympia has 19 SP compared to the other Keyblades. The other Keyblades actually only have 16. But let me show you real quick before we end this video. As you can see here, seven out of 19. That means you can activate more medals and you can last longer in these events, in these quests, in the Adamanti Ore, and especially Moogle of Glory. Moogle Glory, the hardest thing about that is not having strong medals, is that your APP triggers or you have enough sp to complete the whole thing because there's a ton of enemies in there so you want to make sure you have attack boost 2 slash app's or just app's now as comparison 15 out of 15 on a level 20 treasure trove it goes to 16 but that's why i say don't really use your adamante ores on these until you make this keyblade 25 and you make the olympia 25. so that's my advice for these adamante ore quests if you can't do all five right away Complete the one, two, and three, and upgrade one of these depending on your medals. If you have good reverse medals, speed, and magic medals, Divine Rose, upgrade that first. If you have good upright medals or upright magic medals, Olympia, focus on Olympia first. But you want to make sure those two keyblades are the ones you're focusing on before you touch anything else. So I hope this guy, this guide helped you out. I hope that this gives you a better idea of how to do all the Adamanti Ore challenges. Just with this kind of thinking, you can get really, really far. And when the weekend comes, I will be posting on the Mogul Glory. So let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you have different ideas down in the comments. Or just leave some advice down there for other people who are watching this video as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on smiling. And I'll see you guys in the next one.